The five finger close position you'll recall is that most basic of positions whereby all of our fingers are positioned one next to the other on keys that are no more than a step apart. Perhaps the most basic of these is the C major, five finger position where we start this piece. Now, even as we get into more difficult piano music, it's still very important to continue considering closed hand positions. But doing so gives you a baseline position to work from at the keyboard, so that when you do encounter any of the many changes that are possible, you'll be able to make clear decisions regarding how you want to shift away. But here in measure two, we get our first test of this. As the right hand must leap up to G with the thumb and extend out to a second inversion to uh, play the chords here. But watch as I play uh, from the beginning with just the right hand. Without a clear sense of position to begin with, you might end up doing something stranger, um, like playing the first G with your fifth finger, and then trying to hop up like that. Well, we don't want anything like that unless it's necessary. We want the smartest, most strategically sound movements we can get. Now notice that the left hand here actually does not change position, but it does need to extend to play the octave at uh, the end of measure two. So both hands together here, measures one and two. In measure three, we get essentially the same thing, except you guessed it, now we're working from G major close position. And while in this case your right hand is already in position and your left hand is already a bit primed by having played some Gs, in other cases where your hands have to move from another completely different place, you'll discover that thinking of moving to a close position is a much more efficient way of thinking than say, just moving to the next note. But thinking of a position tells you essentially where your fingers should be placed on 10 keys instead of just two when you think about going to the next set of notes you see on the page. Well, it's gaining the ability to think in these bigger, more encompassing pieces of information and analysis that gives you more power of learning at the piano, and indeed in music in general. Okay, so we play a similar thing from measure three up and down and then exploding into these chords, and this time both hands essentially get to stay in position, um, with the right hand now simply needing to extend up to the seventh from G, um, and the left hand dropping down one to play the octave C's at the end. So from measure three. Thanks for watching this lesson from Liberty Park Music. If you enjoyed this lesson and learned something from it, do us a favor, hit that like button. And if you really liked it, share it around. Let your friends and family check it out too. If you want to find more lessons like this or explore other piano-related topics, please come visit us at libertyparkmusic.com. We have full piano courses ranging from beginner to more advanced levels, and everything is online and streaming 24-7 so that you can design your music learning around your schedule and learn in the comfort of your own home from a talented roster of professional teachers and musicians. Come check us out.